I'm Dr. Keith. This is an Accessibility Quick Tip. Today on Accessibility Quick Tips, we're going to explore the world of keyboard testing. Specifically, we're going to look at buttons and links. We will navigate to and from interactive elements using only the keyboard. The second thing that we'll do is that we will activate those interactive elements, again, either a button or a link using just the keyboard. We are going to use the tab key to navigate forward to an interactive element. We'll use shift plus the tab key to move backwards away from an interactive element. We're also going to use the enter key. This will activate either a link or a button. We'll also use the space bar, but the space bar will only activate a button. Ready to begin? Let's start by going to our webpage of the day. This is going to be Hilton.com, H-I-L-T-O-N.com. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to test a couple of the buttons. I know that there's a button on the screen where I currently see a calendar option. To navigate there, I need to use the tab key. So I'm going to hit tab, and now I have a focus indicator around the word locations. I hit tab again. This time I'm at offers. Tab one more time. Now I am at meeting and events. I hit tab one more time. And this time I'm at credit cards. I'm going to continue to hit tab, past join, sign in, and move all the way until I see a focus indicator around the button, this calendar at July 21st, July 22nd. Now I have two ways that I should be able to activate this calendar and I must test them both. The first way is using the enter key. So I'm going to, now that I have focus on this button, hit enter and I can see that I'm able to open up this calendar. And if I hit enter one more time, I'm able to do what I expect. I'm able to close that calendar again because focus has not moved. I also need to test this using the space bar. I'm going to move away from the button by hitting tab. And now I have focus on one room, one guest. And I wanna go back and test that calendar button. So I'm gonna hit shift tab. And now I have focus on it again. This time, instead of using the enter key, I'm going to use the space bar. So I'll hit space bar and I am able to activate this button and open the calendar. If I hit spacebar one more time, I'm able to close the calendar and I know that this button is working. So that's how we test buttons. Now, there are other things to test though, including links. So now we're gonna shift focus away from this calendar over to the menu. Remember how we had links uh, at the very beginning with locations, offers, meeting and events, and credit cards? Well, we need to move backwards to that from our current location. Shift and tab, and I move backwards first to the form, shift and tab again, up to sign in, shift and tab again to join, shift and tab again to credit cards. Now I'm back inside this menu where I know there are a bunch of links. In this case, I'm going to go over to locations, so I tab three times, and I'm going to hit the space bar, and let's see what happens. Absolutely nothing. Is this a problem with the web page? The short answer is no. This is a methodology. Remember, you can only activate a link using the enter key. And if I hit enter, well, then I am transported exactly where I expected a page with location information. Really important to remember this methodology. A link may only be activated using the enter key if operating via keyboard but you can activate a button using either the enter key or the space bar. So how does this affect your testing overall? You've got to know which one is which. For some of that, you can take one quick peek at the code. So for example, if I go over to locations here, and I'm just going to cheat a little bit, use my mouse and select inspect, and I look at the code, I see this ahref. This tells me this is a link. If I, however, go over to this July 21st and I inspect the code over there, I look and I see, yep, this thing is actually coded as a button. And this is something that you're going to have to do within your keyboard testing as well to be sure that when you test a button and when you test a link that you've actually tested the exact components that you're trying to reach. Let's review. Buttons and links have a particular methodology. You can navigate to and from them using tab to move forward and shift plus tab to move backwards. You can use the enter key to activate either a link or a button, but you, and you can use the space bar to activate a button. Remember, 
only the link is only going to be activated just using the enter key. So now that you know it, you can go forth, do your testing on buttons and links, and most importantly, continue to be an ally and develop accessibly. Thanks. Bye.